We want our harnesses to fit your dog in a proper way as we know that his safety, health and comfort will depend much on the right fit of the harness. From this tutorial you will learn how to take three basic measurements needed to choose correct size of the harness from our website. As measurements needed vary from model to model, you may scroll to the bottom of each harness page to see how to measure video specific for the model. To take the measurements you will need a flexible tape measure, a friend or friends to help you, and a pen and a paper to write the measurements down. To receive correct measurements, measure your dog on his stand straight. Don't tighten the tape too much and don't hold it too loose. Normally, you should be able to put two fingers under the tape measure. So, let's proceed with the measurements. To measure your dog's neck circumference, run your hand with the tape around your dog's neck, pointing his breastbone. This is the point where his throat turns into the chest. For this dog, for example, neck circumference is 21 and a half inches. For this, 25 inches. And for this dog, we have 24 inches. Circumference around girth or simply girth measurement is the most needed to determine the size of the harness. To measure your dog's girth, run your hand with the tape an inch or two right behind his front legs. For this dog we have, for example, 30 inches. For this, 30. And for this, 32 inches. To take a measurement for a chest strap, you should run your tape measure along the line of the future chest strap. Start measuring at your dog's girth line and finish approximately at the same line. This measurement should be perpendicular to the girth's measurement. It should be made at a comfortable distance below the dog's throat. For these dogs we have 22, 23 and 24 inches. Now that you have all the needed measurements of your dog, please insert them into the corresponding fields of your order page. A bit of waiting and your dog will enjoy his new great fitting harness.